What's up, everybody? This is Marshall Couture, also known as Plex of DonkeyJawProjects.com. And this is today's broadcast of making paintings for, it's day number 19 of making paintings for 100 days in a row for at least 30 minutes a day. And I'm trying something a little different here. Um, doing a live broadcast. Unfortunately, uh, it's Google Hangouts, so the quality is not the greatest necessarily. And plus, I my webcam quality is not the greatest necessarily. But you know, trying it out, right? So. I'm kind of thinking about setting a timer because I really don't have a ton of time. It's going to do like the 30 minutes, but then you get that click, click, click. So, I don't know. Maybe I can set my phone timer. Where's my phone? Fell on the floor. Uh, trying to get this set up, man. It's crazy. <laughs> so, showing you my phone here. <laughs> Didn't really mean to do that. All right. So the advantage of doing a live hangout is that it uploads directly to YouTube. And, um, you know, that helps because it's not easy to, you know, to upload a very large video up to YouTube. But I'm just starting out here. Um, you know, I can do clearer videos as I go but uh, I don't know we'll see so at some point I'm gonna start the timer here but let me just uh, let me just situate myself a bit Grabbing my sketchbook because I have some notes in there. If you've been following my progress at all, you know that I'm kind of just learning how to do all this stuff. So I wrote down some notes when I was taking a uh, little craftsy class on painting. And I'm just reviewing them real quick. A lot of this stuff I kind of already remember. I'm getting messages on Facebook. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much all this stuff. Wow, I'm surprised. I actually, you know, remember it all. It was a few days, four days ago or something that I watched this thing. So pretty much didn't even really need to review. Okay, so what I want to do is start working on the sketch. Or not working. I just want to, like, fix up anything on the sketch that was lacking. So that's what I shall do. Grab my pencils out and such. My eraser. <clears throat> All right. All right, so I'm erasing some lines. I have a little bit too many. And then I'm not sure um, 
I kind of feel like maybe I should lighten up these lines a little bit. It looks like this is doing the trick pretty well, actually. It doesn't always do the trick. Um, to I just have like a kneaded eraser, and um, you know I'm just pressing on it to lift up the lines a bit. I saw this trick one time. Um, I don't know where. Some video or something, and so it's kind of cool. Um, probably commonly known, but for me it was a new thing. Um, it doesn't always work though on certain papers, but looks like it works pretty good on water watercolor papers. So I guess I'll start the timer now because I'm officially working on stuff. Let's see. I may do more than 30 minutes, but I just want to make sure I get my 30 minutes in and do a video and stuff. So, um, cause after this, I'm going to get going and do something else. And then I might go back to it later. So the timer is officially started. All right. So I got a lot of thoughts. <laughs> um, a lot of stuff to talk about. Hopefully I'll remember all the stuff. But uh, I guess I'll start it off with, um, well, I've been struggling a lot trying to figure out what kind of, um, what uh, subject matter I'm going to do. And mostly, it's not a lack of ideas, it's just a lack of being able to, and I said this on my last video, a lack of knowing, you know, settling on one thing, you know, like, I just seem to be a very indecisive person, I guess, and that sucks, and I'm kind of frustrated and kind of pissed at myself about it, to tell you the truth, um, because, you know, I've learning a lot, you know, kind of finding out a lot about different artists' careers who have been pretty successful, and I don't know, I just wish I was further along right now. I'm 36, and uh, for the people who are pretty successful, a lot of them, you know, yeah, you know, Jack Kirby didn't create Fantastic Four and all that stuff till he was like 44 or whatever, but that's great and all, but he was working on comics and he did create, you know, Captain America like 20 years before that. So, or however long it was, it was something, I think it was 20 or 10, something like that. So it's not like he was already, let me turn that down. He was already a, um, pretty much a superstar artist that people went to, you know, if they wanted to sell comics, they go to him. He hadn't yet created his masterpieces, but he was definitely well known, you know, already. Um, and he had been working on this art stuff for, uh, I mean, comics mostly, and then, you know, also other things for a um, long time, you know. So he was building his craft up, and I feel like I kind of missed the boat, unfortunately, on, you know, taking advantage of the time when I was young to really build up my craft. I got um, sidetracked by hip-hop music. I, I like, I make hip-hop music and a bunch of other things, and um, kind of pissed at myself for that, because, like, I did... Um, I mean, I always drew since I was a young, young kid, like it, I knew it was what I wanted to, that's the thing too. I always knew that's what I want to do, you know, for a long time. And, um, so I should have been pursuing it all this time, you know? So it's kind of hard to pick colors <laughs> at this point because, uh, I don't actually, I'm not working from a, um, 
like a, a color reference. I'm working from a black and white reference. Um, so, yeah, it's a little hard to pick colors. <laughs> uh, you know what? I forgot to get something to, like, wipe the uh, paint and water off on. I was hoping I'd find something right nearby, but looks like I'm going to have to run for one sec. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back already. <laughs> Some paper towels. Not one of the number one things an artist needs is paper towels, especially a painter. So let's see. I guess I'll put that there. Change the setup every single time I freaking work on stuff. It's crazy. All right. So like I was saying, I'm just a little frustrated. I feel like I should kind of be further along than I am. And I know a lot of artists feel that way. Um. So I'm not alone, I guess, but, you know, we always kind of encourage each other. And uh, I don't know, I guess I'm a little cynical today <laughs> about it. So whatever. But anyways, <laughs> when I get cynical like this or when I get frustrated like this, the, it's that means it's like it's time to uh, take action, you know, time to do something about it. And that's what I'm doing right now. Um, and if you watched, you know, if you've been following along, I just recently did. Um, I did uh, my self portrait painting, which was. Uh, which was fun and challenging. Um, but I, I really didn't know what I was doing then, and I still am just learning, but I at least took a class since then, a watercolor class. So right now I'm applying some of that, right, what I um, learned. I still, I mean, this is the first time, so it's <laughs> diving in, you know without a life jacket or whatever the phrase would be. So, but yeah, I'm doing something about it. Um, another thing that kind of got to me today, well, I shouldn't say got to me, but that inspired me, <laughs> inadvertently inspired me, um, was the fact that um, Mr. Gazbot, who's doing or did just finish the 100 days of comics, he finished his 100 days and, Man, it's so awesome. Like, congratulations, man. I've already said it in a couple places, but congratulations again if you're watching this. Um, so awesome. You had an awesome run when nobody else was really doing the 100 days for a while. You were plugging away. And, uh, you, you know, he didn't just, you know, do the bare minimum like I do. He did, you know, he, he provided production value he was talking about how he was frustrated today that he didn't get um, an average of two hours a day, <laughs> which it's like everybody else is pretty much like, I'll be lucky if I can get my 30 minutes in. For the most part, I'm sure there's other people doing more than 30 minutes. I mean, I've done more than 30 minutes at times, definitely done hours worth at times um, of different, you know, when I was doing the 100 days of comics and stuff, but... But, you know, I've been kind of slacking on, on posting up my videos and just doing this. I, I don't know if it's slacking or if I'm just having, you know, I'm having difficulties. It's kind of probably a mixture of both. Um, so that all going on <laughs> I guess 
it probably would have behooved me to work from a color reference. Because <laughs> um, now I, I'm just kind of making it up as I go. And I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> again, as usual. That's all right. So, um, let's see. I think I'm going to go red. That's me spraying water in a water cup. That's what they did in the video, so I'm doing it. <laughs> uh, let's see. So, let's see. I don't have, like, a red in this palette, actually. Hmm. Like, not, like, a straight-up red. I guess maybe I do. So, you know, really awesome that, that Gazbot got done, and, and he's been a real inspiration for sure. And it was kind of a good kick in the butt today when I was watching his video because it's like, come on, you know, you know, stop playing around and get these videos out and, and all that. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> and uh, so to kind of get over this or try to get over this uh, – whole, you know, hump of, like, not knowing what to paint and, and stuff, I've kind of come up with a plan, a decision of sorts to, um, basically, I feel like I'm kind of cheating myself and whatever, the challenge or whatever it is, um, by not painting every day like I need to paint I need to be putting paint on a surface every single day no matter what that's kind of the point here for me I'm learning how to paint and if I'm sitting here and you know each day is like kind of a preparation stage and like I'm only painting like a third of the days that I'm actually doing the hundred days then I don't know it's kind of dumb you know, so one thing I was, and and that one thing that kind of made me think that too was when Gaz was talking about in his video, um, he was saying like, you know, for his next challenge, he wants to do something like that too. Like he kind of regrets that part of what his challenge was, was writing the book, um, and he kind of wish he hopes well next time he already has stuff written for the next book so whenever he goes on to the next one it's just going to be straight up making comics like doing the art and everything that has to do with that aspect of it so you know that's kind of maybe what i should have done with the paintings you know maybe i should have had at least you know, I don't know, the first 20 days worth of work planned out. You know what I mean? But this is, I mean, it's all learning. Like, I didn't know, you know, that it would take this long to figure out what to paint and stuff and gathering reference. And, I mean, references, if I already know what I'm going to paint, I don't know. I think I think what, what I need is because I did have some ideas, and that didn't really do the trick. But, um, you know, um, I think what I needed to do was have a bunch of, like, canvases primed and even drawn on, you know what I mean? Like, like these little light sketches or whatever piece of art or however I ended up transferring it, you know, I needed to have 
like a bunch of like canvases already ready and set to go. And then, you know, I would have like a buffer, which I really believe in. I'm really into the idea of buffers. Um, and a lot of us artists don't really use them. Like probably, I shouldn't say we should, but it would be so much more helpful. I mean, we, we would be doing a better service for our own selves by having, you know, a buffer in place for a lot of the things we do. Um, and I know like the experience I had with a buffer that, that was really helpful was, uh, when I was doing all the beat stuff, which kind of before I was doing this, I was trying to sell beats and stuff like hip hop beats because I make hip hop beats and I rap and stuff. Um, so I kind of went on this big tangent trying to do that, which kind of sort of didn't work out, but I also feel like I approached that wrong. Um, but Oh man, I'm trying to mix paint here. If it looks like I'm doing nothing, it's not. It's just mixing paint, <laughs> um, colors. But uh, what was I talking? Oh, so I was doing all these videos like artist advantage tips, which I'm gonna actually bring to this channel and and start doing here too. Um, because there's a lot of stuff I've learned. I'm, I'm big into reading and checking out a lot of, um, like, content that has to do with, like, um, you know, creating a business online and stuff. So I'm going to start bringing some of those tips here and to just to help out, you know. And uh, eventually I was thinking I might even write a book, but I think I need to have a little success first before I write a book. But I might do like some kind of like ebook type of thing just to give away free on my website because there's some basic things that I think would help us all, you know. And I've said it before many times in different podcasts and things like that, but, you know, to kind of have it out on a list with a little bit of writing to it, I think would be helpful to people. I hope. I don't know. People probably aren't into it. I don't know. They'll probably be like, who are you to tell me? You, you know, you know, all that stuff, but I don't know. I'm going to try different things. You know, you won't know what will work or what will be helpful unless you try. So anyways, um, So the plan is to start really collecting these ideas or whatever. And uh, and really, like, start creating a buffer with the paintings. Like, I just want to create a bunch of, um, you know, primed, ready canvases of whatever kind. And... Uh, So, you know, that there's that and and so that I won't run into this problem again. And then the other thing is um, I want to have one big piece always going on, you know, one piece that takes a lot of time and detail. Um, because one, I want to learn how to be more patient with my art and not just, you know, have to sit like the way I make art tends to be. I need to like be able to in one sitting create something and you know be able to publish it you know <laughs> and that's not working out <laughs> that's not the way to go you know really so you know I just noticed that the people who get more traction are the people who put a little more you know have more patience with their art and put you know, a lot more effort into making, into the finish of it, you know, like, and I've just always tried to be quick and dirty about it, but I'm going to start trying to be just good at it. Because I know if I took my time, 
I'll do better and I'll have more people interested in what I do, which is, you know, something that's part of my goals. Um, so, so I want to have one like piece that is, you know, kind of for the long haul, at least one, maybe two going on at all times so that on those days like where I don't know what I want to do or blah 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 I always have that piece to just kind of start chipping away at and that's kind of what this piece is here I guess but will it actually work out that way I don't know I mean it's gonna take me time and it's gonna take me you know trial and error to kind of get it right um, So we shall see, but that's the plan, you know, and I am really excited. I know I sound kind of cynical, but part of it is because I feel like I'm in a rush at the moment and um, just frustrated, you know, work, work the old day job and it's just like so unfulfilling, you know, and I just, I'm there all the time working and I'm just like. I just feel like I'm wasting my life because I'm not doing something that really I could actually be useful at or whatever. I don't know. I'm probably just a selfish artist who wants wants everything my way. So anyways, on a more positive note, <laughs> um, if you don't know, which I'm sure you do, <laughs> Peter Palmiotti, and I don't know, if, I guess it's a positive note, but <laughs> um, is trying to get a house, <laughs> and uh, he's got cats that, you know, if he can't get a place soon, you know, I don't know, they might not have a place to go, and hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully no matter what happens they'll be able to figure something out but that being said they found a cool place that's like something that is possible for them to get and but they need some help and uh you know a lot of people have auctions up right now that where the the money will go to to his gofundme account um i i have a piece and i just lowered the price down the bidding price um, on eBay. So I'll put a link to all that under the video. I should have done it before this, but like I said, I've been kind of rushed, but I'll put a link there. Um, but you can, you know, find it, I'm sure, through a lot of our group people and stuff. But uh, the GoFundMe, I think is GoFundMe slash Catastrophe. <laughs> so if you look that up or if you look up Peter Palmiotti, um, probably be able to kind of find it. Not that I'm trying to push you off. Like I will put the links in there. I just, you know, having a little rough time right now. <laughs> so there's that. And then another link I'll put in there is Kevin Cross from KevinCross.net is also having some financial issues. I mean, we're all having financial issues, right? <laughs> but some of us are having special financial issues <laughs> and you know when somebody steals you know your identity that's a pretty screwed up situation and you know a lot of us have been trying to help out and stuff and i haven't been able to donate anything because you know i'm i'm a little late in the wallet at the moment myself but i can at least promote it share it you know and hopefully I'll be able to help in some way, shape, or form. So he's got some art pages and stuff on his site you could buy um, if you really want to put some money down. Um, and then he's also got a – he's also doing um, – what is he doing? I can't think anymore. Oh, the Monkey Mod um, T-shirts at Teespring. So um, – you know, go on over there. It's only, I think it's only like 20 or 15 bucks a shirt or something. He put them at a real good price for that one. Um, 
and uh, go help support. Grab that T-shirt. I'm actually thinking about getting one myself because I already have one, but the one that they sent me uh, had a little issue, and plus I've worn it like a ton already, <laughs> uh, um, so it's wearing out a little bit already. I mean, I literally wear it at least once a week, so since you know it was put out, I, how long ago? I don't know, like eight, nine months ago or whatever, however long that it was. So, you know. Oh, you know what I was supposed to do? <laughs> I already screwed this thing up. But I can, I guess I could still kind of fudge it, I think. I was supposed to do like a value painting. Right now I'm going in like I'm like putting the flats in for a comic or something. <laughs> um... So, oh well. Learning. <laughs> I'll do that on the next one. You know what I probably need to do? That and that was the other thing I was gonna I'm gonna do like a bunch of little paintings, you know, as well. So, you know, I wanna be painting every single day. Sometimes I'll get maybe two or three paintings out in a day because you know I got these little these little uh I think I have them near me. Yeah, like these things that Dee 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 Willingham sent me, and I mean, they're about the size of the palm of my hand, so they're little. There's that. There's also sketch cards and, um, yeah, just smaller size paintings that I should be able to get done a few, actually, if I have like a couple hours to sit there um, and I have some stuff planned out, so... I can do both, you know. I should be able to do both, get a lot stuff, a lot of stuff out, and work on bigger pieces, you know. And that's kind of my plan to kind of toggle between the two. So, sorry, you can't really see this very well, but it's, uh, you know, it's just me laying down kind of the flats or whatever. So, shouldn't be. You're not really missing much. <laughs> And the time's already almost up. It's crazy. So, I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed this, you know. Um, sorry if it was kind of negative and ranty. Um, you know, <laughs> people always say that, you know, sorry if it's a little ranty. Like, And, you know, when you're listening, I know for me at least, I actually like those videos, but... When you're the one ranting, you're self-conscious about it. <laughs> so that's how I feel. But uh, I don't know. Maybe people like it. <laughs> it's hard to imagine that somebody would like it. But I guess it's not that hard to imagine because I dig them when other people are ranting. <laughs> ranting and raving. It just sucks to feel a negative feeling. You know, you don't want to feel that way. I'm sure things will turn around. I mean, I'm going to have a good night and stuff. Hang out with the fam. Maybe do a little more art later on. Might be joining a little Skype chat at some point tonight. We shall see. So, I'm going to continue here and make sure I get everything flatted out at least. I'll feel like I did something. So I need another water cup. Or actually, I could reuse this one. I think. Got to, like, really severely lighten it up, though. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Yeah, I never knew. Like, that's one thing I learned with uh, this class was, you know, watercolors is really supposed to be watercolors. Like, they're not... It's not like, you know, you just wet your brush, dip it in, you know, a dry pan of color, and then go. It's more like you fill up these water cups, and it's supposed to, you're supposed to have kind of a really wet experience, which sounds weird, I know, I don't know, but, uh, 
like there's different techniques there's wet on wet which i mean people literally will soak the whole paper which i didn't do here um and then there's like dry brush obviously and there's different techniques and um you know you're supposed to kind of let the water flow all over the paper or canvas or whatever it is i guess people probably always use watercolor paper i don't know maybe not i don't know probably not but uh <clears throat> I'm just gonna stop my timer so you guys don't have to hear the beeping, but it was about to go off in like 30 seconds or whatever. So, you know, now I have like, instead of, here, I guess I'll show you the whole thing. Instead of having just these pans, I also have these little water cups. This is probably horrible to do. I'm gonna like drop this all over my painting. But uh, they're just straight up filled with water and a little bit of pigment. So I also learned another interesting thing is there is a difference between watercolor, like a tube of watercolor paint and a tube of acrylic paint and a tube of oil paint. I mean, obviously oils and acrylics are different, but uh, the main difference, I guess, is the binder. There's, I guess there's binder in watercolor and um, it's like a binding agent. I don't know. But, uh, and also acrylics are made out of, you know, plastic. They're like a plastic formula type of thing a synthetic I don't know I don't know the science behind it but um, you know so what happens is you can actually use acrylics very much like watercolor um, at first but after it dries you can't pull it up again and you can't um, kind of rework it or whatever which in some ways you still can't, you can't really rework watercolor either, but there is definitely a different give and play. And watercolor is supposed to be like a transparent type of medium. Like you're supposed to kind of apply it in a, in a transparent way. Um, you know, if you're, you can, you know, paint with watercolor paint and it'd be, you know, um, more opaque by just using the pigment and a lot less water um but that's kind of defeating the purpose of the point of like watercolor <laughs> so i mean they do call it watercolor <laughs> no but um you know so there's that and it's just a whole different feel a different way of painting you know and i think it's interesting and i don't know how to do it yet and a lot of people are kind of afraid of it like especially even those who like paint in other mediums because you know they're just it's a it's a definitely a different beast <laughs> and i don't know you know i just know by watching people do it i don't really know the differences in practice you know but i can kind of see what they mean so I'm doing a bunch of things wrong here, <laughs> but I'm doing a few less things wrong than I did in my first watercolor piece. So that's a good thing. <laughs> that's positive. So just flatten out the gold chain here. And that's going to be about it for now. Yep, so thank you guys for watching. Um, that was my 30 minutes for the day. Hopefully I'll get to more than just that. Um, did some things wrong, but did some things right. So that's what's going on. Um, thank you guys for watching. I will catch up with you tomorrow. And we're going to be having more regular videos. Um, today is day 19 because yesterday I redid 
day 18 because on day 18 I said I was going to do some work and I hadn't already done it when I did the video and then I tried but I could not make myself do the work and that's that's the type of stuff that I'm pissed off at myself about and I'm disappointed you know so you know I'm changing it you know <laughs> so uh, these are going to be regular and you know, I'm going to do my freaking darndest to make sure I do it every single day. That was the only day I missed on the paintings. One thing I didn't mention, um, I did do a recent video for 100 Days of Making Comics. Um, I'm continuing that. You know, I let that go for too long. So I'm continuing that, but it's going to be kind of random for now. And I'm just going to drop one here and there. Kind of defeats the purpose. Um... And I'll probably kind of at one at some point, you know, kind of hit it hard and hit it for a lot, you know, more days in a row on purpose or whatever. But for now, it's just going to be kind of random updates when I get a chance to work on the comic. Um, but the main thing I'm doing is these paintings. That's what I'm going to stick to and be vigilant about doing every single day. Because um, I don't have enough time. I don't have time left to dilly dally you know oh you know what I should do is I actually should do this background real quick because uh, I don't want it to just be like a white background you know so I'm gonna go in with a different color what should I go maybe I'll go in with like a light like purple color I think that'll be dope. That'll be rad. Really light. So, thank you guys for watching. You don't need to necessarily watch me do this background thing because right when I'm done, I'm going to get going here. Um, but you guys are awesome, and I'll talk to you on the next uh, day of making paintings. Later.